Alrighty folks, yeah, a little bit of a different spot today, kind of back by the Green Mountain Mine, sort of by it, um, within a few miles of it at least. Doing a little exploring today, I know there's a mine back here that just came up, and we're looking for the rail out of it, because rail is exceptionally not cheap. Um, brand new, it'll run you about, i figure out, just a hair under 600 bucks per 30 working feet, so 600 300 for the left, 300 for the right trail, uh, for the right rail, so 600 bucks, give or take. That includes shipping and taxes and all that, I think. But I was walking around here, because I knew there was a mine back here that has some in it. I just got to figure out how to get to it. There's kind of a big hole between the, there's a winds um, along the attic that's collapsed and burned out. And we got to figure out how to get across. But looking up here at this spot today, and since I was exploring, I didn't want to miss anything. This spot here is... Oh, uh, is that close to five foot at the bottom? Big copper vein. You can see the, uh, let's see here. You can see the, this is one con, get, that's not my, I don't want it to my finger. Contact, there's the country rock here. Contact, main vein, contact here. Um, looks to be schisty, pretty much. There's another piece of a vein on this side, too. Um, most of this is heavy on the hematite inside the main vein here in the center. And it comes down here. You can see that little spur there. Um, not going to walk down there just because I'm on a pretty good size mound of tail here. Or on the mine dump rather. And that hole looks like it's been caved in. And it's probably just got some boards down there with some rock on top of it holding it together. Sure, not the, not the smartest place. This was primarily a copper mine. Uh, let's see if we can see this here, put in the shadows. Focus. Come on, focus. Focus. You pecker nuts. Let's put it right there. Butthead. There we go. That's a piece of... Yeah, sorry. I can't get you a good picture here. Piece of limonite with some malachite inside of it, that green there. We got there. And this is what's kind of intriguing me about this. I'm taking this down the hill with me for an assay later on. Focus. We got limonite. I think you might be see some of the intrusions in there. I'll probably get home and take some, some better pictures. The limonite with pyrites in there. Um, a little band of it. Let me hold the camera still so you can get a good look at it. That band of pyrites run through the middle of that limonite. That could be something here. We don't... We don't. I don't know what it's going to look like. That's a pretty good sign there. I'll pick up another piece here. Now, obviously, this is all sulfides, because here's another piece with some limonite in it. And then that dead center right about now. Also some pyrites. And uh, this other rock ain't got much to say. It's just a chunk. But here's some more of that kind of funky color I was talking about. It's kind of a, a dusty, ugly olive color. Uh, kind of like a faded natural olive. Not usually your invitation of your indication of some of your sulfides there. And you can see we got some chrysocolla here. Is that lighter blue? Let's see if I can find a piece of azurite real quick. Azurite's like a deep navy blue, like a midnight blue almost. There's a piece I'm sitting on my butt. Um, get back in focus here, buddy. Um, you can see the green in there. That's all the malachite. Lighter green will be indications of chrysocolla, but this looks more like malachite. It might be chryso. It looks a little bit like malachite. The color's right for malachite. Let me get the little iron limonite in there. I think a little chunk right here. That's probably a piece of iron, too. No, what else we got? That's a typical copper mine dump. They left a bunch of low-grade stuff laying behind. You got some limonite here, and a little bit of quartz. Um, they've got some. Come here, buddy. Uh, a little bit of limestone and schist here mixed together. Some quartz. But anyway, that's about all on this one. Nothing really spectacular, but I'm going to send some pieces off for assay. See what we got here. Uh, and go from there. Next video should be from inside. Should be from inside the mine here in a minute. I'll see if I can take y'all along with that. Show the kind of challenge we got to get this bridge built across a hole. 
that goes, we don't know how deep. Till next time, folks. Adios.